decided I wanted to get out and do some shed hunting. And where I'm going today is actually pretty special to me. And I thought it was a pretty good spot it was. I had a camera in here just to see if there were some deer coming through at first. I only had the camera in a couple of weeks. I used to bring my dad here. In a couple more weeks, it'll be my dad's birthday. And he passed two years ago. And this was actually the last place I walked and scouted with my dad. And uh, it wasn't until the following year that I decided I wanted to get a camera and just start doing some filming. Figured if I'm gonna hunt by myself, I needed somebody to talk to, why not use a camera? I'll tell you what though, I learned a lot from my dad. And there wasn't the time that I call him. Say, hey dad, you wanna come out and go for a walk? Go do some scouting? You wanna go hunting? He never said no. After that year, I almost contemplated and just quit nothing altogether. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And uh, I pushed through it. I love being outdoors. I ended up hooking up with an old buddy that I had no idea even hunted. I guess you could say that buddy saved me. Got me back out here in the woods. <laughs> One of the things I remember growing up hunting with my dad. We'd go hunting a piece of public land. It was called Big Mountain. And it was the smallest mountain in the whole county. I'm not sure why it was called Big Mountain. But it had a mixture of maples, saplings, oaks, birch trees, beech. And come fall, there'd be so many leaves. And when you'd go to, so we only hunted rifle season back then when I was a kid. Once all the leaves fell and you'd go in there to hunt in the morning, there was no lifting your feet to walk through those leaves because they were about a foot deep, maybe deeper in some spots there was so, so many varieties of different trees in there. So when you walked through that piece of public land, you kind of had to push your feet and drag your feet through the leaves and push them out of your way. It was a lot quieter than stepping over top of them. I remember quite a few times and We never really did any scouting back then. He just took me in. He'd find his spot and tell me to walk 50 yards further and find my spot. I'd wander off 200 yards sometimes and find my own spot. But there was quite a few times where I'd just make a hole in the leaves, find a rock, maybe just lay down in the hole and put my head against the rock. A couple times I'd fall asleep. I remember one time I fell asleep. I don't know for how long. It was a long time ago. But I fell asleep. I remember opening my eyes and there was a doe standing right in front of me. Probably five feet over top of me. I'm surprised she didn't walk over me. Once I opened my eyes, her eyes lit up and she was gone, man. Had some cool experiences as a kid hunting with my dad. Now this tree right here in front of me, two years ago, I carried in a 12 foot ladder stand and set it up against this tree. And you see there's a finger right here. Actually there's two fingers. There's a finger down there that comes into the flat and the finger that I'm standing on. 
and the clear cut over there to my left. So when I was up in this tree on the ladder stand, this pine tree gave me cover from anything coming down the mountain. I sat in here a couple of times and I watched some doe come down this path and I had good cover from that pine tree. But when I was hunting, I didn't have a doe tag. I was just out looking for bucks. And it's funny because we got into the next year that I came out here, I wanted to get back up in this same tree and I found straps and it looked like somebody was saddle hunting right above where my ladder stand was. So they were crawling up my ladder stand, getting up above it and saddle hunting right here. Yeah, there you go, see? Somebody has a stand in here yet. There's a scrape. I'd imagine that's a mock scrape. Yep, so my first year in here hunting, Went pretty good. I was seeing deer. I was seeing good buck sign. Like I said, when I come back in here the second year, everybody and their brother was all of a sudden in here. I got home from work and I was sitting at home thinking about it. I was going over my onyx, picking out some of my old spots that I haven't been to in a long time. And this was one of the spots I picked to come check out. And I think what happened the first year I was in here, there was acorns everywhere. And I also have that clear cut over here beside me, with all kinds of brows. So they weren't really lacking food, but because it was dropping acorns so well, I was really seeing deer in here. The second year I came in, there wasn't any acorns. I hunt a lot of different spots on this public land, and I can tell Every other year, each spot's different. One spot might have acorns, the other spot won't. Next year, my other spot will have acorns and the other spot won't, you know? So two years ago, this was hammered in here with buck sign and rubs everywhere. By the time I got in the next year, there was nothing. All the sign was gone. Some historical rubs. Haven't been hit in a long time. I noticed quite a few trees fell over in here too now. There used to be a couple trails splitting down through this little knuckle here. And now they just go around it. When I drive past this place, which I have quite a bit this past year archery hunting, I always saw the same truck sitting down at the bottom off the side of the road. Just about every time I'd come out hunting, I'd see that same truck at the same spot. Coming up here and hunting this same spot. It's crazy. I'm getting out of this spot. It's been blown out pretty good. Way over hunted. Which kind of sucks because it used to be a really good spot. Well, everybody else got in here. Anyway, it's the name of the game on public land. So, let's go find another spot and do some shed hunting. Looks like we got a good trail right there. I want to get my way up. Up in there looks like it opens up a little bit.
let myself in here and won't be able to get out. Ouch. Jesus. Oh, I definitely got the wrong pants on for this. Jesus. I just kick something out right up above me. I heard it crashing. Oh man, there's just no easy way through this crap. I'm working my way out here. I can't get through this garbage. I'm not quite close to either. And then we got a couple good runs. That's a good run, but doesn't look like a very big buck. It's really not that old. Some other rubs in through here. They're a little bit older. Looks like that trail's coming out through here. I'm leading right out that direction. bones not the ones we're looking for another bone Looks like something was drug off through there. Another bone. Let's see, it looks like they were drug off all over the place. Hard to say. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing much else after that. This skull's actually a little strange looking, isn't it? Get out of here. 